Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, we will see how to properly install the 64-bit version of the Android emulator Mimu China, as well as how to update it, change language to English and how to install Google Play services. For those who are unaware, Mew Mew China is the emulator partnered with Kuro Game and the game Punishing Grey Raven. You can normally go to their website to download it, but the 64-bit version is bugged since quite some time and it requires some extra steps to properly install it, so, let's do it. The first step will be going to the first website linked in the description, and download the two files in the top. Make sure they are the same version, for 64-bit systems and that you download both the minus 1 and minus 2 version. The files here get updated often, so always get the ones at the top. I already have them downloaded, so now we go to the second website. On the second website, we just need to download this small file with the big download button. Again, I already have it downloaded. Extra notes, if you can't download any of the files on these websites, try changing to another browser. I have seen a lot of Chrome users complain about not being able to download them in Chrome, but they could in Edge or Firefox. I will try to upload the latest versions of all the files to a Google Drive mirror and post them in the description later just in case. Once you have all the three files, go to your local disk and create a folder in Program Files, make sure is not Program Files x86. Name it whatever you want related to Mimu, like I did. Then move the three files you downloaded to this folder. Now, right-click the smallest file and run it as administrator. If Windows doesn't let you, click on the More Info button then run anyway. Give the necessary prompts and a console will show up. Now, just be patient, is gonna start installing the emulator. The symbols in the console appear as a question mark due to your system language. This is going to take some time, so just wait until an icon appears in your desktop. The speed of this installation will depend on your system's speed, and please, don't panic if it takes a lot of time. As you can see, an icon appeared on desktop, wait some more minutes until the console says click any key to continue. Warning: If it never appears after the icon got created, check your disk activity in Task Manager. If it's around 0%, press Enter key once in the console and it should pop up. If it's around 100%, wait until it actually finishes installing to force the text to pop up. After it appears, press Enter once again. Now you successfully installed the 64-bit version of Mimu China. Great job! Now let's boot it up for the first time to continue with the other steps. First boot usually takes longer than expected, so be patient. If the emulator doesn't start, verify you did the other steps correctly and try reinstalling. If it doesn't work, let me know in the comments or through my social media. Great, is working. Now let's set the emulator language to English. Close Mew Mew with the X button at the top right then on the blue one. Right click the desktop shortcut then click open file location. Here navigate to the language folder.
Inside this folder you will have two files. We are interested in config.ini. First back up the original just in case. Then use any notepad app to edit the file, I personally recommend notepad++ for this. Now, pay attention. Delete everything that is not the English section. After that, save the file and double check it saved correctly. Your file should look like the one in screen. After that, open Mew Mew again. As you can see Mew Mew is now set to English. Keep in mind the translation is not 100% perfect, but is good enough for everything you might need. Now, let's set Android itself to English. Before doing that, Let's check the emulator is running properly. Click the three bars on the top right then click settings. First, set a new hotkey for your boss key. Boss key hides the keys overlay while you play, and the default hotkey has an error. I put Ctrl L but you can put whatever or just disable it. Then, please make sure you enable root switch. After that, you can check the other settings. In performance, if Mew Mew is using more than 4GB of RAM on the system with more than that, Mew Mew is running properly. Click Save and Close and now we can set Android to English. Go to this folder in main screen and click the gear icon to open Android settings. Scroll down until you see a globe. Click it then click the first option. Then, select English. Now we can install Google Play services. Double check root switch is properly enabled. After that, open the same folder and then launch KK Helper. Click install and patiently wait until the app installs Google Play. After is installed, click Reboot Device and wait until is rebooted.
Now launch KK Helper again, and make the app check if it's installed correctly. If it is, good. Now manually reboot the device using the X button at the top right then clicking reboot. This should secure the installation to avoid errors. After that, feel free to open Google Play Store to check is fully working. After some time of waiting, it should be launched. Sign in then start installing your favorite games. The time you just waited should only happen the first time you launch Google Play Store. If it doesn't launch, open KK Helper to check for issues or let me know. You can also use the Mew Mew Market to install Chinese apps and games such as Punishing, Grey Raven, although it's recommended to use Billy Billy if you want to play on the Chinese server. If you are wondering, Mew Mew can and will run the global version. Remember you can also open APK files to install other games or app markets such as TapTap or Cup. That should be it. If an update of Mew Mew comes out, you can open the third link in the description to download an update file. Click the 64-bit version the latest update then normally run it. Mark the two boxes at the bottom left then click the install button. The installer will find where Mew Mew is installed then update it. Extra note, after every update the language will be reverted to Chinese, so remember to change it every time. And those were all the steps you need to know to how to properly set up the Chinese version of Mew Mew China 64-bit, the so-called punishing, Grey Raven PC client. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any issues or feedback, please comment down below or contact me through my social media. Big thanks to Orbit for making the Imga guide on how to do this. It will be linked in the description too. Thanks again for watching and remember to comment if you have anything to say, and feel free to like, subscribe and share if you liked the video. Have a good day and see you on another video.